Okay, Tested, Adam here. And Norm here. And we are doing a one day build. We're gonna do one together because we're going to build a garage kit and I happened to have two of them. Uh, the kit that we're building is this, the Iron Giant Screw Kit. Yeah, it's a, a bolt that's in the movie. I mean, one of our favorite movies. There's no spoiling it. The Iron Giant falls apart at one point and this bolt is the kid's attachment to him. Mm -hmm. And it has a special significance in the epilogue. Yeah. And when you got this kit, because this is an old kit, it's been sitting up in your attic for a little bit. It has, um, in fact, you can see my son labeled it on the side because this sat upstairs in the loft. I've got this whole shelf of nothing but kits and unbuilt things that I've had. And I've had this one sitting up there for five years. It was made by a user on the Replica Prop Forum. Mm -hmm. And they actually designed this using some schematics found online and then designed it, modeled it in 3D, and SketchUp had it 3D printed. Well, this is a great example of, of uh, uh, enthusiasts grabbing what they can to grab, to make some amazing props. So there was a, a schematic made for production of how big this screw was, and the RPF user took it imported the drawings into SketchUp because he had plan views yep. and elevations, and constructed this, 3D printed it, cast it into multiple parts, including an electronics kit with lights and a little thing that goes beep, 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 beep. That's yeah. Awesome. It's very cool. Um, I've made a few modifications and I'm gonna continue making some other modifications. In some places, he's got this thing glued together and I prefer press fits and positive mechanical connections. Um, but the assembly yeah. and also the electronics work, uh, that all happens after some finishing first because you don't want to, it to not look like a cast piece of resin. Exactly. Um, so what I'm first going to do is uh, coat these in a, because they're going to end up being silver-ish, like mm -hmm. bolt color, uh, I'm going to give them a red oxide primer, I think, if I have it. I might not. Now, because we have two kits, we can actually take two approaches. Like we did last time with the Cosmonaut kit. I think you have a specific idea in your head on how you would like your bolt to look? Well, uh, the cartoon, because it's an animated movie, many people finish this as being very cartoonish, where it's very specifically two-tone as it was in the, in the, in the movie, uh, like this. Mm -hmm. I am gonna make it look a little more bolt-like. I'm gonna make it look a little more realistic, as if it's been ported, Roger Rabbit style, into reality. Oh, I'm gonna try to go straightforward with the cartoon finish, All right. and uh, I'll help you help me with that. So, first step, primer. First step is primer. Um, while I'm working on the primer, will you work on the electronics? Absolutely. Um, okay, so let me just explain here. You've got, yeah, the, that is, it could not be a simpler diagram. Um, we don't have any breadboard in this. You're gonna be wiring, soldering directly to the chip. All right. So gentle. That's right. Um, I have tons of heat shrink, uh, but I think we want to, you know, I'm thinking that we want to trim these leads way down and put some heat shrink on and actually color code the positive lead. I've got some really fine, uh, I've got some really fine wire back here. Mm -hmm. I've got some fine wire back there. So if you would start getting the electronics together and Absolutely. make sure that it works with the batteries and stuff, I'll do the priming and mechanical engineering for getting these things assembled. All right, let's get started. Okay. You might want to heat shrink everything. Our wire strippers? Yep. About like this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, shove those down in when we put this thing onto there. Oh. No, the but, the, so the speaker can live up top here. Yeah, it does need to live up right. top. I am uh, painting my bolt with rub and buff, which is, as I've used it before, a, uh, a metallic wax product that gives a very, uh, very realistic finish for metal. 
Um, and because it's a wax, it shouldn't mix too much with the weathering paint that I want to put on this later. So uh, all in all, it should be the ideal coating. Um, I'm putting it on pretty rough again because, well, it's going to be a rough and tumble kind of paint job. Okay, Adam, uh, where are we right now? You have a little bit of a, um, you have rough and buff, rub and buff on uh... I do, I have the switch hooked up. We've got the first chip hooked in here, so I'm ready to test fire it. We're gonna test the circuit. We matched the diagram, battery, which is a couple years old. I'm getting four and a half volts out of the battery stack, so. Okay. Hey, hey, there it goes. That's only one of the LEDs, but it's fine. Right, I've only, I've only that's the only one I've hooked up, but. That's great. That's awesome. Excellent. Okay, this is all good. This is a good sign. Give me a high five. All right. Um, cool. So I'm so going now to it's a matter disconnect. Of, yep, disconnecting. Now it's off. And the next step is to get the other LEDs and everything wired together because it all needs to fit. Yeah, in, in time this, in in this little tiny thing. Okay, so uh, here we Your go. Battery goes inside, and then it's going to be the chip, and then the speaker, and then the LEDs on top. Right. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get to work doing the exact same thing on, on my chip. Hey, Norm. You got lights? Yep. And sound? Yep. It's all working, okay. So now, I'm gonna turn it back off. Now I've got to get these all soldered to each other. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so. All right. And it looks pretty. Yeah. All right, let's explain to people how this circuit works. Yes. Now, you have a finished bolt, um, electronics-wise. Yes. So at the tip of the bolt, that's where the switch is. Yep. And the switch it's a, activates. It's a not a momentary, it's an on-off push-button switch. Okay. Yep. And then inside the shaft is then the battery. Three stack of button batteries, watch batteries, and followed by the, uh, the, the, chip. the chip. That creates the sound and the light, and it's a timer. Mm -hmm. And the chip connects to the speaker mm -hmm. and also the three LEDs and yep. then wires all the way back to the switch. It does. And, and then so when you press it, you get a homing beacon. Yes. Dude, Woo. it's awesome. So I think you're uh, ready to move on to the next phase of your finishing and painting. I have to uh, put in, now I have some lenses to put in over these. Awesome, and then I'm gonna go finish <laughs> I'm my totally electronics <laughs> on my end. Hey Adam, what are you doing? Uh, I am adding some final weathering. I am putting some dirt in the interstices of my uh, of my iron giant screw here. Now, are you giving any washes? Are there enough of the... Yeah, no, it's exactly what I'm doing. The rub and buff is a wax, and so uh, it does nicely when you add acrylic to it and then scrub the acrylic back off. You'll see I end up with, I end up with dirt in the corners, and it looks nice and... Mm. Nice and genuine, like it's telling a story. Just the way I like it. You know, Frank tells us that, uh, there's a phrase for that, the browning it up. Browning it up. Let's add layers of dirt and different shades of brown. Yes, exactly. I've got burnt umber right here to add some rust spots later.
finished. I think. Well done, Adam. Let's show the people what you did. <laughs> so I have made my iron giant bolt uh, look as if it has been sitting outside the iron giant for a fair bit of time. So it is weathered and beat up. Um, I like it looking actually metallic. It, it is an object that says to me, what the hell was that? So it goes <laughs> on my shelf and 10 years from now someone goes, what is that? And I point out it's from Iron Giant. Oh, nice. Like, that's really cool. That's very pretty. I'm totally psyched. That is a beautiful little kit. Yeah, well done. I've got like 40 more up there. <laughs> oh, hopefully we'll be able to do more <laughs> in future one day builds. Um, the day is finished, but I'm gonna wrap mine up, at least get the electronics done, yeah. and then we'll finish painting and show the difference between the painted, your realistic version, and the cartoonish version. Absolutely, we'll see Thanks you guys in a that. minute. And we're done. We're done, we each have a bolt. We each have a bolt from the Iron Giant. I've gone with the semi-realistic uh, look, you've gone with the cartoon look. That looks beautiful. Yeah, very flat uh, colors, super simple, get to it, it's all just primer. Yeah. Dark gray, spray that's metal, light gray, black on top. Are you finished with it? Uh, I still think I can do a little more. So um, maybe a little more airbrush and give it some definition. I think that's a great uh, idea. I, I love how yours looks realistic and dirty. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like what would dirt look like in a cartoon format. In a cartoon format, I think a little airbrushing of black in some of the details, very subtle. You might not even register it when you look at it, but it'll bring it into starker relief and make it feel a little more weirdly three-dimensional, even though it is already three-dimensional. And it's a beautiful table prop, hand prop, uh, ripped from Amazing Cartoon. Yes, let's turn them on. Gotta synchronize the beeps. That's how they found each other. <laughs> Three, two, oh, hold on. one. <laughs> it's a beautiful chime. Uh, this is really fun. Thank you so much, Adam, for Absolutely. sharing this with us. Uh, and you love garage kits. I know you have a huge backlog, but you're also still looking for more. I do. I have um, probably about 30 different garage kits upstairs, and we're going to continue to do them. Um, I, it's one of my favorite things, and we haven't done very many of them as one-day builds, but uh, there'll definitely be more. And yeah, I'm always on the hunt for cool garage kits. So if you know of a cool one, or if you're making one yourself, send us a line, shoot us a line, or post a comment below, but otherwise we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.